Hello everyone, this is Asif from Mango Education. Welcome to Hello Educator. Today's episode from Mango Science Radio is on social distancing that happened 350 years ago. Hi, Mango Science Radio listeners. Obli here again. So today I'm going to talk about... Um, Another epidemic, actually, uh, not an epidemic itself, but a uh, uh, set of things that happened during an epidemic uh, that happened nearly 350 years ago uh, that uh, rattled the city of London. Uh, it is uh, referred to as the Great Plague of London that happened between the year uh, 1665 and 1666. The interesting thing is that people back then did not know uh, what was the reason for this plague. It nearly wiped off a quarter of London's population back then in a matter of two years. And uh, in fact, uh, 10 years later uh, from that date, uh, Anton von Leeuwenhoek, I think you may have heard of this name, would discover bacterium. That was the first time that uh, humans observe uh, tiny organisms uh, that in water droplets, uh, bacterium. It was in 1676. But it was not until 1890s that the bacterium that was responsible for the Great Plague was known. Um, uh, so nearly 200 years later after the Great Plague it was known. So it's interesting how much we have uh, progressed in our understanding of uh, how the microbial worlds behave and what what we have today. Like we are able to understand the virus that is you know, this, that rattling us today and we are uh, trying to be safe from. But interestingly, uh, back then, even back then, uh, the solution that was uh, provided or uh, thought of was social distancing. So uh, even back then, during the epidemic of 1665 and 1666, social distancing was the only viable solution back then. So people didn't know what they died because of. So they had to uh, lock people up in their homes who were infected with the uh, disease. So even today, we are following the same social distancing thing. But but out of this social distancing thing, I want to draw you, uh, draw your attention to another very historic thing that happened because of this uh, uh, quarantine thing. So one of the persons who was affected by this quarantine or isolation, self-isolation is uh, Sir Isaac Newton. So uh, people, the, the college he was studying and so asked the students to go back to their homes. And I think that was the best thing that could happen to Newton because he did not have his professors or students or peers who would disturb him. I think he had all the time that he needed to himself and he would eventually go on to use those two years to uh, to to discover some of the breakthrough ideas and insights and the understanding that we have today. So in fact, some of the things that he did, he started buying out prisms and lenses. He started working out on optics. He he's learned a great deal about um, light. He also invented what we call today as the calculus. He, he, he invented the earlier versions of calculus. Some of us may curse him for that, but nevertheless, you know, we, the calculus is one of the most instrumental things that we have today uh, in, in science and mathematics. So that the earlier version of it was developed by him. And, and one of the things that we all uh, know Newton for uh, is, is definitely gravity. So it is, it is during his time in 1666, uh, when he was under self quarantine that he create he developed the greatest insights about the gravity he he came up with this ideas that would eventually become newton's theory of gravitation newton's laws of motion and things like that one of the greatest ideas that uh, so what would what was that one big insight that newton had that would eventually help him to go on a path to to understand gravity uh, like no one uh, before him did and I'm sure all of you know of this legend of um, the apple falling on Newton's head and he eventually uh, understanding, uh, describing gravity. But no, uh, it, there is no evidence that actually apple fell on his head and it was uh, looking at an apple, he observed it. But nevertheless, it's an interesting thing uh, to, to remember. Insight that Newton had back then was in his home, in his garden, when he was sitting, uh, sitting out there, he had this thought what if the force that is responsible for objects that are falling down on the ground is the same force that is responsible for the moon to stay in orbit around the earth and that was a spectacular insight no one ever before him 
thought about it that way so they they thought of gravity they would have known about gravity they they understood gravity in the sense that is affecting the things that are on earth and it's pulling the earth or uh, pulling the objects down towards the earth but extending the the same force beyond the earth and putting it on some on object like moon that was a spectacular leap of thought and that would eventually put him on a path to understand gravity but today we know earth's gravity is responsible for keeping the moon in its orbit and also the the apple that falls down so both are held by the same force but back then people didn't know it they thought it was two independent phenomena so i think that was one of the greatest idea that that the human race ever conceived and that happened during the epidemic of uh, 1665 and 1666 so the message is this do not use your time uh, do not use your time on wasting on things that are not very productive so you can use these times to learn to learn more to understand things and remember whenever you are given such a time remember what newton did or remember what happened during the newton's time so i think this is what i wanted to share with you guys today so uh, i can i'll catch you again with another story soon again thank you have a good day bye